lot of people think that Tesla will bring its full self-driving beta to Europe next, but it is not the case. Last night, according to developer Green D Only on Twitter, Tesla software code shows at China coming next after United States and Canada. By the way, they're apparently already testing in Canada. So someone asked Green, uh, the only Twitter user, when full self-driving would land in Europe. That's when he responded, China as the next priority it looks like. Those of you who know Green D Only, whose name is Green and the Twitter handle is Green the Only. He is, has been a very reliable source. Um, so when another user asked how Green the Only knew this, the developer replied, based on the code which says allow FSD, means full self-driving, if the car is in the United States or Canada or China. We recently, friends, saw US FSD beta testers drive across the border into Canada to test the software, which performed admirably with mixed results notes tesla north.com the chinese electric vehicle market is the biggest in the world right now and there is a lot of competition for autonomous driving systems for tesla to pack china next to test fsd beta it would definitely add yet another reason to own one of the company's vehicles in the country apparently sales are going very well because this morning we just learned that in china tesla just stopped the zero down payment option because of the surge in demand now on wednesday evening green the only speculated for all i know they are already testing in china same as they as, as they are testing in europe just the testers are under nda when i asked him uh, anything about chinese full self-driving dates or timeline that's why green the only responded me saying well that is not something they include in the code when they, the dates are available as you can imagine he said for all i know they are already testing in china same as they are testing in europe just the testers are under non-disclosure agreement now they're testing according to green the only in europe already but china is next again there is no guarantee full self the, uh, the full self, uh, fsd beta will make its way into china very soon but based on what green is seeing it appears the possibility is there probably tesla needs to um, do some regulations with the chinese government because there are strict regulations as we can remember that recently the chinese authorities um, uh, forbade Tesla vehicles in uh, important government buildings near the important government buildings because of the cameras but apparently Tesla has now ensured that the data remains in China. Well friends let me know your thoughts what do you think about this development about China about FSD coming to China next. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage because I'm bringing the breaking developments every day and also give us thumbs up for this video if you found it informative. God bless you everyone peace be with all of you let's love each other and care for one another and let's move on to our next story now Tesla may be very close to production of 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory Texas as materials for Tesla's 4680 cells were recently delivered to Gigafactory Texas, hinting that the electric vehicle maker may already be preparing to start the test production of its custom batteries for next year, known as 4680 batteries for their size. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. According to new Giga Texas drone footage, Tesla has received 4680 battery production equipments at the construction site. The electric vehicle maker has transported the new equipment to the battery production section of Gigafactory Texas. Tesla is currently in the process of building two brand new factories on two continents, friends. In addition, the electric vehicle maker is also increasing production capacity at its current operational plants in Shanghai and California. According to Tesla's quarter 3 2021 earnings call, the electric vehicle maker plans to grow production by 50% annually for the foreseeable future. And to achieve this goal, Tesla has identified battery cell shortage as the major constraint. Recently, Elon Musk went into detail about why Tesla delayed 
Cybertruck Volume Production to 2023, and in his explanation, Musk said Tesla was forced to delay the Cybertruck as the electric vehicle maker is already utilizing all the sales it could find to meet the demand for the current underproduction Tesla models. Tesla's sell constraint is also apparent in its latest price adjustments for the vehicles. Since the beginning of 2021, Tesla has increased vehicle prices by a minimum of $6,000 and by as much as $26,000. Musk says the recent price increases were due to supply line disruptions and sell shortages. However, in the long run, electric Elon hopes vehicles prices will come down and make the Teslas more affordable to a wider swath of population. Uh, on One strategy Tesla is using to increase battery supply is to vertically integrate battery cell production. According to Tesla's Battery Day event, Tesla will foray into cell production with the company's upcoming 4680 cells. The new cells pack several battery cell chemistry and architecture improvements, which not only make the batteries significantly more energy dense but also will make them cheaper and easier to produce. Currently Tesla has a pilot cell production plant in Kato Road, Kato Road, California next to its Fremont factory. The plant has an annual production capacity of 10 gigawatt hours which will enable it to supply cells to about 15,000 vehicles a year. That's not very much, right? Now, Tesla's two new factories, Giga Texas and Giga Berlin, have a long-term annual production goal of 1 million vehicles each. And if Tesla hopes to reach this ambitious production goal, the electric vehicle maker will then need to increase cell production significantly. And now we have good news, suggesting Tesla is indeed aggressively moving to grow battery production according to video by Jeff Roberts who gave me a right to uh, share this on, on social media who files drone over Gigafactory Texas regularly. Texas, Tesla has started receiving battery cell production equipment at the Austin Gigafactory construction site. Uh, in Roberts recent drone footage we see two truck loads of battery production equipment entering the storage area of the mile long Tesla Gigafactory in Austin. The boxes were labeled Anod Line 1 and Cathode Line 1. According to Roberts, the box labeled Anod 1 was later driven toward the battery cell production area of the facility and based on this information, Roberts believes that Tesla has started installing the equipment for the 46AD battery cell production line at Gigafactory, Texas. Friends, this is certainly existing, ex I'm sorry, exciting news and suggests Giga Texas battery production is closer than most people anticipate. In our previous article, uh, by Tensai Aregai from Torque News Tesla team, we have reported Giga Texas construction has progressed so far ahead of Giga Berlin that Tesla is considering building 4680 battery cells in Austin and shipping them to Giga Berlin. How feasible do you think this is? Well, let me know, friends, in your, in your comments. And by the way, visit us at torquenews.com slash Tesla for several very interesting, unique Tesla news at torquenews.com. Now, as of now, we don't know exactly when Tesla plans to begin cell production at Giga Texas. We will be sure to keep you posted as we get more information, of course. Make sure to visit us at torquenews.com slash Tesla for latest updates. Let me know, friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. So what do you think? Excited Tesla has begun tooling the Giga Texas 4680 battery plans? When do you think uh, we will see vehicles rolling off the production line at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin since we touched on that too. Let me know your thoughts, friends, down in the comments section below. And please give us thumbs up for this report if you found it helpful. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Let's move on to the next story. God bless you and peace be with all of you.